Star Citizen could reach $1 billion raised by 2026. After recently reaching $700 million in funding as of May 2024, there seems to be no stopping the amount of funding for this game. If the upward trend of funding continues, there's no doubt that we'll see it happen at some point. But this could further bring a brighter future for the game if CIG focuses on making the game better starting with 4.0. If you love to discuss the game's future and enjoy seeing all of the great sim gear and peripherals in the market, smash that like button and consider supporting the channel by clicking that subscribe button so you can stay informed. In a universe where ambition meets innovation, one game has shattered records and redefined possibility. Now we all know that Star Citizen, Chris Roberts' magnum opus, has captivated millions with its promise of limitless exploration, intense space combat, and numerous gameplay loops. Since its inception in 2012, Star Citizen has rewritten the rulebook on crowdfunding, amassing over $700 million from dedicated backers who believe in its groundbreaking potential. A lot of us, including myself, have been there to witness the majority of its evolution from a simple multiplayer game to a massively online space sim with tons of different gameplay loops. Behind the visionary dream of Star Citizen lies a turbulent reality. For years, the project has faced its share of challenges and controversies. Feature creep, the expansion of game features beyond initial plans, and often questionable decisions in upper management has plagued development, leading to missed deadlines and growing skepticism. I understand the skepticism as I've experienced it myself at one point. Squadron 42, the highly anticipated single player experience, has seen several missed release dates, frustrating backers eagerly awaiting its arrival. As someone who originally backed Squadron 42 because that was the main game they were pushing at the time, I've been waiting to play a game that they said would be released 10 years ago. Meanwhile, promises of expansive new star systems like Pyro, essential technologies like server meshing, and the backlog of ships that need to be brought to their gold standard have encountered multi-year delays, testing the community's patience. These hurdles have not only strained development resources, but also strained the trust of backers and the wider gaming community. Not only that, but with this ambitious but strained development came a higher attrition rate of the employees within CIG. Skilled developers came and went as the years went on, causing more setbacks. And many of these losses left unfinished work leaving newer employees to pick up the slack. Furthermore, with a decent amount of former backers requesting refunds, and CIG's legal issues with Crytek over the usage of CryEngine, that then turned into Lumberyard, that they then turned into Star Engine, it most certainly did not help development. But what about the many obstacles that Star Citizen will have to overcome in order to chart a course to a billion dollar milestone? Star Citizen's journey towards a full commercial release, often referred to as Star Citizen 1.0, presents its own set of challenges. One of the most pressing concerns is how the game will sustain its funding post-release. While the crowdfunding model has been remarkably successful, questions linger about the reliance on new ship concept sales to fund ongoing development. And considering how the marketing team handles new ship sales, a lot of us get tired of it. As the game nears its commercial release to 1.0, there is growing unease about the continuous introduction of new ships for purchase. Now, at this point, I get it. Ship sales might be a necessary evil to continue development of the game. Many supporters fear this could lead to an imbalance in the game, with players feeling pressured to buy ships to stay competitive. Cosmetic skins and paints for ships offer a promising alternative, allowing players to personalize their experience without affecting gameplay balance. Alternatively, the subscription model that they have now is not a bad approach either but that part of funding should remain optional for the players. However, as far as I'm tracking, the community remains divided on the issue of future ship sales, and this also ties into promises years ago to allow players to customize their paint for their ships as part of the game. With paint skins continuing to grow in number, many wonder if CIG is walking back this promise. On one hand, ship sales have been a significant revenue stream for Cloud Empyrean games, enabling them to fund development and expand the game universe. On the other hand, many players worry that continuing this model could undermine the game's integrity and may lead to a pay-to-win scenario. Another of the obvious issues is getting all of the major gameplay features added, major tech such as dynamic server meshing, and fixing many of the bug and stability issues. Now, while it would be counterproductive for them to work on focusing on bug fixes, stability and optimization, as Star Citizen approaches its pivotal 1.0 release, Finding a suitable and fair funding model 
will be crucial to maintaining the trust and enthusiasm of its dedicated community. Navigating these challenges will be key to ensuring that Star System not only reaches its ambitious funding goals, but also delivers the groundbreaking experience that backers have eagerly awaited for it to be a fuller, more immersive experience. Despite the challenges and the issues, the current state of Star Citizen is a testament to its incredible potential. With each new update, the game world expands, offering players an ever-evolving universe to explore and conquer. From mining asteroids in the air and halo belt to engaging in intense dogfights, Star Citizen offers a wealth of gameplay features that cater to a wide variety of playstyles. Players can trade goods, hunt bounties, explore uncharted territories, and participate in large-scale space battles. Now suffice it to say, I've always been on the lookout for a game that does what Star Citizen does, and to the level that it does. But I can honestly say I have yet to see a game deliver this much. The game's attention to detail and immersive mechanics have drawn a dedicated community of players who are actively engaged in its development. And many of them still find enjoyment in Star Citizen even with its many issues. Community engagement is a cornerstone of Star Citizen's success. From in-game events to passionate discussions on forums and social media, the community plays a vital role in shaping the game's future. While some are extremely toxic about the issues, many are just vocal about their passion to see Star Citizen finally evolve into a better game. Cloud Imperium Games has maintained an open line of communication with its player base, regularly sharing updates, hosting Q&A sessions, and gathering feedback to refine the gameplay experience. The ongoing development roadmap showcases the ambitious plans for Star Citizen's future. Major milestones such as implementing server meshing and introducing new Star Citizens like Pyro are set to transform the game world and enhance the overall experience. With each patch, new features and improvements are rolled out, bringing the game closer to its vision of a living, breathing universe. The most important thing I believe that they need to focus on going forward, aside from new gameplay loops, locations, and other updates, is that they need to focus heavily on making each ship unique. As it stands now, ship choice largely boils down to what's meta, or in some cases, what's larger. Many of us want to see more diversity in ship choices and for ship archetypes to evolve even more. There are many ships that are highly specialized and need to begin to be utilized for specific roles. From stealth to tracking, electronic warfare to command ships, and even small mining ships to massive mining ships with a refinery. There are a little over 120 flyable ships, and only a handful of them matter right now. For the betterment of the game, this needs to be changed, and it needs to be changed soon. Star Citizen's development journey is far from over, but the progress made so far is a testament to the dedication and passion of both the developers and the community. As the game continues to evolve, it inches closer to becoming the groundbreaking experience that has captivated the imaginations of millions. As we approach the climax of Star Citizen's incredible journey and the release of 1.0, the latest funding statistics and projections reveal a story of unprecedented success and ambition. With over $700 million already raised, Star Citizen stands as the most successful crowdfunded project in history. But this is just the beginning. Key milestones such as the introduction of new gameplay features, expanding the universe, and improving server stability, each update brings the game closer to its ambitious vision, driving increased support from both new and returning backers. The upcoming launch of Alpha 4.0 is set to be a game changer. With the introduction of server meshing and the long-awaited pyro system, the Star Citizen universe may end up expanding like never before. Finally, we'll be able to travel through a jump point and realize the vision that many of us have had for years by going through a jump gate and into pyro. These major updates will not only enhance the gameplay experience, but also attract a wave of new players and backers eager to explore the expanded universe. CitizenCon, the annual convention for Star Citizen enthusiasts, is another critical moment on the horizon. Scheduled for the end of October, this event is expected to showcase groundbreaking updates, new features, and exciting announcements. 2024 will be a critical year to show off what the future of Star Citizen will be like, and it will be imperative that CIG show off a lot of features that we've been expecting for years. Between base building, crafting, new gameplay loops, and various other tech, and a fully dynamic economy, the list of wants is rather lengthy, 
Citizen Khan's ability to generate buzz and enthusiasm within the community is unmatched. The anticipated reveals and updates could significantly boost funding, propelling the project closer to the billion dollar mark. And with the potential of Squadron 42's release date being revealed, it will absolutely draw new players in. Looking ahead to next year's Citizen Con, I'm hoping that they not only continue their momentum, but also really begin to hit their stride. And I'm also really hoping that the convention is in Austin next year, because that will be the first year that I've ever gone. With ongoing development and new features on the horizon, each event and release from 4.0 on has the potential to draw in even more support. With the release of Alpha 4.0, the excitement of CitizenCon, and the continuous evolution of the game, Star Citizen is on a trajectory to achieve the unthinkable, a billion dollars in funding by 2026. As Star Citizen continues to captivate the imaginations of gamers worldwide, its journey towards the billion dollar milestone is a testament to the power of vision, community, and unwavering dedication. And considering the previous history, I think it's highly likely as there seems to be no signs in funding slowing down. Star Citizen's journey to release is driven by a combination of visionary ambition, relentless development, and an engaged, passionate community. Key factors behind this crowdfunding success include the game's diverse and immersive gameplay features, the, the constant engagement and feedback loop with the community, and the continuous evolution and expansion of the Star Citizen universe. Now, the upcoming launch of Alpha 4.0 and the excitement of CitizenCon are set to be major catalysts, propelling the project forward and attracting new waves of backers and players. Looking ahead to 2026, Star Citizen is poised to revolutionize the gaming industry. With its innovative crowdfunding model, coupled with groundbreaking technological advancements, sets a new standard for what is possible in game development without big publishers. As Star Citizen continues to grow, it not only paves the way for more ambitious projects, but also redefines the relationship between developers and the gaming community. This collaborative approach ensures that the game's evolution is shaped by those who play it. The journey to a billion dollars in funding is more than just a financial milestone. It's a testament to the power of shared dreams and collective effort. Star Citizen's success story will inspire future generations of game developers and players, proving that with vision, dedication, and community, anything is possible. The legacy of Star Citizen will be one of innovation, collaboration, and limitless potential of imagination, regardless of its many issues during development. Together we've embarked on an incredible adventure, and hopefully the best is yet to come. If you made it this far, I want to thank you so much for watching. I'm honored to be on this crazy train with the rest of you, and appreciate all of the love and support that you've given me, even if we don't all agree sometimes. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and let me know in the comments what you think CIG needs to focus on after 4.0, as I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you missed out on just how many missions are being added in 3.24, then you'll want to check out my most recent Last Week in the Verse video. Fly safe pilots, and I will see you in the next video. Have a go.